before we even talk about J.K. Rowling, let's talk about her accomplishments. Okay, everybody, please. Can we take a minute to recognize the one of the world's only woman billionaires? She did a book, okay? But I want to pay a specific tribute, okay? To the incredible writing of J.K. Rowling, okay? So we're going to start with some Harry Potter tri uh, trivia, okay? So let's start with the first one, okay, everybody? Harry Potter trivia. Did you know, canonically, that until, uh, until like the modern times, wizards would literally shit their pants and use magic to teleport it away? Isn't that, isn't that amazing? That's actually, yes, that's actually true. So originally the wizards would just piss and shit themselves and they would use magic to just make it disappear, which to me seems very concerning knowing other things about, um, knowing other things about the universe. But I do find it funny. I do find the idea that wizards were just like hanging around like shopping for dragon's eggs and magic potions and like the harry potter universe is all like whimsical and fun but then you realize that like 20 20 years before the fucking uh wizarding world of harry potter existed all of the wizards were just milling around just shitting themselves in public yeah she loved retconning things in there yeah why not make the shit disappear while it's still inside them why don't they just yeah, why don't they just have a magical ring that they, like a magical anal plug that just automatically gets rid of all the poo? Yeah, using the fetus deletus. Because pooping feels great, but does pooping feel great when you're shitting in your pants? I don't think so. I don't think so. The, uh, the, the spell name that I came up with like a year or two ago was called a uh, deletus me poopus, uh, which is, I think that's a really good one. Personally, I think that's, that's great. Actually. Okay. No, no. Oh no. Okay. Stop. 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 I'm going to be taking a don't ask, don't tell. Okay. Approach. I, I am not going to, I am not going to, I'm not going to shame you, but if you mention enjoying pants shitting in my chat, uh, then I'm going to take the don't ask, don't tell. Please keep that shit literally to yourself. Okay. Okay. You're ruining everything right now. Okay. Second Harry Potter fact. Are you ready? Are you ready for the second Harry Potter fact? The second Harry Potter fact is that Dumbledore's brother went to Azkaban for fucking a goat. Not kidding you. Actually in the story. It's actually in the book. He used, uh, they, yep, they mention it in passing in, uh, I can't remember which book. I think it's the fifth or sixth book. They talk about it. He used a love potion on a goat and went to Azkaban. It's not heavily implied. It's explicitly said. Was the goat fully sapient? I don't think so. Old Testament Harry Potter lore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And remember, remember, we're going to get into that. Okay. We're going to get into that. Okay. So, yeah. Aberforth, Aberforth Dumbledore. Uh, the forgotten brother of Dumbledore, of uh, Albus Dumbledore, did indeed fuck a goat. Well, see, that's the thing. It doesn't make any sense, really, because, yeah, if it's an animagus, then you're then there's other things. One of the main characters brags about using a love potion on her husband. Well, that could have been consent. Well, look, okay, there's a lot of things about that, okay? Remember, another fact. Um... Harry Potter, the main villain in Harry Potter, is so uniquely evil because he is the product of rape. And that was deterministic. 
Like, un unironically. Like, that was... It made him evil because... Yeah, does anybody... Does any, did anybody forget that? Yeah, he's the... Uh, yes, literally. So, like, the whole thing is that... Um, what's her name? Uh, Voldemort's mom... Voldemort's mom, who couldn't use magic well, stole a love potion, a powerful love potion, used it on a, a, a local lord that she was in love with, and then, and then fucked him and got pregnant with Voldemort, and Voldemort turned out evil because it wasn't true love, and they fucked under the effect of a spell, and so he became Hitler. Nice. Are you guys ready for fact number four? Are you all ready for fact number four of the Harry Potter universe? Here we go. We're moving on to fact number JK Rowling fact number four. Okay. Oh, perfect timing. Fact number four, everybody, of the Harry Potter universe is, uh, what was the one that I was going to say here? Oh, yeah. Did you know there was a Jewish wizard? Did you guys know that? There is canonically a Jewish wizard at Hogwarts. I'm sure most people know this one. His name, his name is Anthony Goldstein. Okay? And he's a Ravenclaw. Yep. Oh yeah, there's the snake. Yeah, there's the booby, the breastfeeding on the snake. Okay, but that's just hot, okay? Snake breastfeeding is just hot, okay? Listen, sorry, that's just sick. I'm sorry, that's just hot. You're just you're just wrong. Um Okay, are you ready? For, are you ready for the next Harry Potter fact? Are you guys ready for the next Harry Potter fact? Albus Dumbledore used to be a Nazi. Did you know that? Unironically, in the text, Albus Dumbledore was a Nazi. Yes. Yes, he was. Yes, he was literally a Nazi. And him and, and Grindelwald ended up having a falling out because Albus Dumbledore had second thoughts about wizard supremacy. He literally let the Holocaust happen. Yes, he literally did. Like Nazi Nazi. Yes, unironically. I'm not kidding you. Listen, I read the shit out of this, out of these fucking books, okay? And uh, are you prepared for the last fun fact? No, not the last one. I have a few more. Are you guys ready for another fun Harry Potter world fact? Here's another fun Harry Potter world fact. Did you know uh, that, uh, did you know that I read all the books and remember none of this, but I trust Ian Mom, so I'm vouching everything she's saying is true. Everything I'm saying is true, or at least most of them are. Uh, did you know that in Harry Potter, if you are trans, you will not be able to go to your dorm room? Do you know that? Fun fact. You want to know why that's the case? Because the dorm rooms are sex-coded, and you cannot walk into the hall... If you do not, if it, if you do, if you have a sex other than the designated sex of the dorm room. Yeah. And it's stated multiple times that there's basically no way around that. Because, um, all of the kids at Hogwarts have to fuck in the halls. Oh yeah, sorry, it's only the girls dorm that's that way. Yeah. No, they, they, they don't fuck in Hogwarts, no. No, they do, they literally do. Penis individuals can't. Yeah, it's a chromosome detector. Well, that's the question. Yeah, do they do it? Do you think they do a dong check? I don't know for sure. Thank you, Eurus McPearl. Thank you so much. I can get through both doors. Now, here's a good question. Now, things get very weird when you start getting into the anamorph maguses, the uh, uh, when you get into the the animaguses, the polymorph maguses, and the polyjuice potion. Yeah, you have to do a cock check when you go in. But here's the real funny thing. Do you think they had that, uh, do you think they had the infrastructure for that, for the bathrooms? Seeing as how previously they were just shitting and pissing themselves and then teleporting it away? 
What happens if your wand breaks like right after you shitted yourself? Do you just have to like ask somebody, hey, can you, t can you teleport my poo away? <laughs> Do you think baby wizards just have to be like, mom, I poop, teleport my poop away? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Could you polyjuice into the fungus with 20,000 sexes and explode the PB detector? Okay, here's the real thing. Hey, we got another brownout. Can you lend me some juice? <laughs> Do you think that, like, wizard department stores are just like, sorry, we got a brownout on aisle five. Can somebody with a with a functioning wand uh, come over to aisle five? We've got a bit of a cleanup necessary. We need a, this is a code brown. Oh, yeah, that's the next fact. Thank you, Infernatrix. You reminded me of another fact. Okay, let's not get hung up on the deleting the poop, okay? Okay? The next one, did you know that that literally J.K. Rowling owned up to the fact that werewolves in her universe were supposed to be a allegory for the AIDS virus? You know, for HIV and AIDS? Um, she said werewolves were that. Now, keep in mind, there were two prominent characters. Yes, unironically. Yes, she talked about this on multiple occasions. You can go look it up. Yes, it is. Now, hold on a second. Let me just explain. You might be like, okay, that's pretty gauche, but it gets worse, okay? I want you to recall who the two most prominent werewolves are in the series, okay? One wolf, one werewolf is secretly given a potion to hide the fact that he's a werewolf. Yep, Lupin and Fenrir Greyback. Okay, so Lupin is the good werewolf who keeps his werewolfness under control by taking a medication, okay, that, doesn't, that makes it so he doesn't turn into a werewolf because he takes his medication on time, except for when he doesn't, and then he becomes a dangerous person to all the people nearby. And remember... That the reason he's allowed to work with children is not because he's not dangerous to children, but because he's taking a pill that makes it so he's not dangerous to children. <coughs> okay? Great. Now, if, you, if you're not convinced by that, let's talk about the other character. Fenrir Greyback. Okay? Fenrir Greyback, the evil werewolf was a, the leader of a faction of werewolves who intentionally sought out children to bite and turn into werewolves. That is his story, is that he is a, he goes and intentionally goes into wolf mode near children, and then they bring them into their wild werewolf coven in the middle of the woods. His thing is explicitly stated that he bites children, infects them, and then brings them into his little coven. So, and those are explicitly supposed to be an allegory for AIDS. So the good person with AIDS takes a pill to completely suppress themselves so they can appear normal at all times. And the bad one is a child rapist. Very subtle. Wow. All right, now let's look at some other things. You want to know another fun fact? Okay. <clears throat> Next thing, we got one more. We got one more fact. Okay, I don't remember what number of fact we're on, but let's get to the next fact, shall we? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, the main prison, the prison that is the only prison, in fact, that is ever talked about in wizarding lore, because they don't put wizards in prison unless because they can just leave because they're wizards. Um, but the Wizard prison is a uh, isolated torture prison full of literally evil beings. Evil beings that were, um, they, they are so powerful that the wizarding world had to make an agreement with them that they would live and feast off of the souls of people imprisoned in there. So this is Azkaban, right? Azkaban is a, a torture prison maintained by the wizarding state it is explicitly stated as one of the most torturous places on earth a place that literally makes um what's his name uh fuck now i can't think of his name the uncle uh serious black literally makes 
uh, Sirius Black so terrified. And guess what? They keep using it. It's just accepted as an acceptable part of 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 the the wizarding world. The only problem with with Azkaban is framed in that the Dementors betray them. So if only they had better Dementors. And then there's the chattel slavery. The chattel slavery about the elves. Do we even get into that? Where uh, Hermione correctly acknowledges that the elves are kept in horrific slave conditions and they're literally beaten and abused constantly even by the school that they go to. And guess what? It's literally played as a joke. Yeah, they play it off as a joke. They like it. Okay? Is it sexual abuse to deny them clothing? Uh, I... I gotta say, okay? There's some pretty weird shit going on in this story. But Dobby, Dobby fixed it? No, that didn't happen. They went back to it. They didn't end elf slavery at the end of the story. Go back and check. They never ended it. Harry Potter goes on to be an Auror, a, 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 a magic cop, and they still have house elves. And they kill off Dobby! And don't... And should I mention the goblins... Listen, I think other people have already talked about the goblin problem. Yikes. Pretty, it's pretty cringe. The goblins are all bank... They are crook-nosed, sneaky, untrustworthy, gold-obsessed bankers. They run all of the banks, all of the major banks in the world. Despite being abused by wizard society in the past, they now control an undue amount of power. And the only major goblin character is a duplicitous liar who betrays the team. Um. Did I mention that they're constantly... I think... Wait a minute. Isn't one of them literally... Like, isn't his name like Grip Hook or something? And literally all they talk about in the books... Look up how many times they talk about their hooked nose. Constantly. Yeah, there is. In the film, there's literally... I know, there's... I know, in the film, but you can't really, like... Oh, I know. Short, greedy, hook nose, sharp tooth. Yeah, it's bad. Okay? It's bad. Oh, and of course, I mean... but And the only commentary you get is about the muggles, the pure blood thing, right? That's the main thing that you get... Uh, there's commentary on, um, but they, but they, but that commentary even is super weak. The, the thing that was good. Okay. The stuff that was good in Harry Potter was always like the flavor and the descriptions of the environments and the sort of setting. Um, and I think there was like compelling character writing. I think that JK Rowling is particularly good at writing like, um, realistic characters Oh, right. I completely forgot. Thank you, Devious Chilster. The only major Asian character is, uh, like, a shy, small, dem demure, and also, uh, early on, like, kind of portrayed as very dishonest and untrustworthy, N and her name is Cho Chang. I mean, that's basically right up there with Andrew Goldstein. They call her the human hosepipe because of her crying over her boyfriend dying. Oh, my God. Oh, God, don't even get me. No, that's... I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious about all this. Look, there's just a lot, okay? There's just a lot, all right? There's just a... There really is a lot going on here, okay? And uh, none of it ever really gets resolved. The only thing that gets resolved is the bad guy gets defeated and the good guy gets put into power. It literally is... The, there's no meaningful change. They defeat the bad guy and everything in the universe stays essentially the same just with good guys and no more bad guys. Um, it's a very, very weird... Uh, there's a lot of weird shit in this in this story. And, and to be fair, I loved Harry Potter. I mean, obviously, the fact we're even talking about it right now um, uh, is, is, you know, kind of proof that they were, you know, impactful and whatever.
Yeah, it is kind of weird, nuts. Yeah, that is a little bit weird. It has state. Well, okay, there's a couple of things. It is incredibly liberal. Painfully liberal. Painfully. I mean, the meme is literally that, like, liberals can't even, like, do an analogy without making an analogy to Harry Potter, which is very true. Um... But, but like, they're not, the Harry Potter book, the point here is not to say that the Harry Potter books are bad. I don't think they're bad. I actually think they're quite enjoyable um, to read. Um, I loved the Harry Potter books. I've read them many, many times. And I I find, you know, it's always a drag because I there's certain aspects I really like about it. Um, but they're fucking stupid. Their politics is so fucking stupid. The signs were there, red flags. There were and weren't. Because remember, some of these got like added in over time. I mean, you could absolutely say certain signs were there. But a lot of it was just that like, you know, J.K. Rowling was writing a series that wasn't particularly critical of anything. It was a fun, whimsical, bad guys, good guys thing. You know, there wasn't really any meaningful political commentary. Um, and so as a result... Her work reflects the passive biases. You know, yeah, you can have sex segregate, magically sex segregated rooms. You can have a uh, wizard phrenology. You can have torture prisons that are perfectly fine. Um, you know, all these things are just never commented on. Um, and it's because of, you know, the Harry Potter series, it, it, it benefits from the this a politicism where it doesn't really say anything meaningful and so it just plays on these biases and some of those biases have aged very poorly like the fact that like there's to my knowledge like like no explicitly gay characters even albus dumbledore who's the famous gay character that everybody freaked out about it is pretty easy to miss that on your first read through it is. It simply is. If you don't pick up on the subtext of the letter, um, and not that they're just like friends, because it is written that way. It's extremely funny to me. Um, because, uh, yeah, conservatives were literally, I remember when my church fucking, uh, was preaching against Harry Potter. <laughs> and now all the conservatives are lining up to defend J.K. Rowling when literally when these books were coming out, the conservatives were ready to burn her at the fucking stake, unironically. I remember book burnings in America, book burnings of Harry Potter books, literally. But th th this is why conservatives don't give a shit about anything. They're, they're completely, they, they, they have... They, conservatives have no consistency in that way because they don't believe they have to have consistency in that way they can utilize any ally they want against the left quote unquote so that's all the fun uh preamble stuff so that you know who the fuck jk rowling is but you know who jk rowling is i just wanted to have an excuse to share ridiculous facts about the harry potter universe before talking about the ridiculous creator of the harry potter universe uh because jk rowling here's a big shocker is a giant piece of shit like, unironically, I fucking can't stand J.K. Rowling. Um, J.K. Rowling vomits out putrid transphobic garbage every single day for, for the fucking last seven years of my goddamn life, and I never want to hear from her stupid face again, her bitchy-ass whiny voice, and yeah, oh, you don't like being called that? Well, fuck you. Because let's take a look at what you just said on your timeline, J.K. Rowling. I don't think I owe you the time of day to be polite to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Do we want to get this here? Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Sick. Let's just take a look at what we're looking at today. J.K. Rowling. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. The penis individual who raped you is a woman. And then she links an article which goes to an editorial. Yeah, fu what the fuck? An editorial where the person who's writing about it is saying that police will respect gender identity in arrests. So, a general statement about Scottish police respecting gender identity during arrests becomes, oh, well, that means rapists will be 
identified as a woman and then that becomes this do you see how ridiculous this is do you see how many first of all like this is what we call fucking laundering right we see this all the time from the right they turn something general into something horrifically specific and they and then they lie about it a whole bunch along the way guys you guys remember a couple of months ago when um when all the conservatives were freaking out about that that canadian trans person whose dad got like censured does anybody remember that? And then it turned out that the dad had literally had multiple um, restraining orders out against him. The dad had multiple restraining orders out because he literally doxed the doctor of of the kid, and that their kid, uh, their kid's mother was in like stern, stark disagreement with him, and he'd been stalking the kid, the doctor, and the the wife, or and the mother. And then conservatives were just like, the, this man is going to prison because he used the wrong pronouns. And it turns out that's literally not even, not even close. Yeah, they just lie. They just lie. Anytime a conservative tweets anything, you should never trust them. Ever. Even if they're telling the truth, they're not worth trusting. Do you understand that, right? A distrustful person can sometimes tell the truth, but you shouldn't trust them because they constantly lie. This is how all conservatives should be treated, including JK Rowling, including all these motherfuckers. It's not even a matter of having to assume anything. They have verifiably lied. The fever pitch moral panic bullshit around trans people is nothing short of what it is. A hateful propaganda campaign and every single fucking person involved in it knows exactly what it is okay jk rowling knows exactly what the fuck she's doing don't fall for her going oh i didn't know i didn't know you retweeted an article that is an that is an edit an editorial stretching a single fucking police department's policy you knew what you were fucking doing and look at the, the words that are chosen these people do not deserve your fucking respect. Your time, your charitability. They don't deserve any of it. None of it. Remember when last week fucking JK Rowling was 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 fucking cry bullying on Twitter? Do you guys remember when she was like, "Oh no, my publicly listed available house address got doxxed. I was doxxed by the transes. Oh, the transes doxxed me. My castle. Oh, what are my guards going to My guards are going to have to release the burning logs. Oh no. The, they're going to they're going to step into my pitch my pitch pits. Oh, my murder hole they're go oh. literal cry bully just going ah and then and then the next fucking week this person goes and puts out a very obvious moral panic anti-trans bullshit tweet that gets fucking an unfathomable amount of attention and this is all justified because the transes did something wrong because vague accusations at trans people being bad oh and she fucking she fucking literally gave out private information of people without giant platforms guys i fucking hate jk rowling like i i i can think of almost no one no single public figure who has been more obnoxiously anti-trans than jk rowling because even Glinner, who's definitely worse on an individual level than J.K. Rowling, doesn't even have close to the enormous, endless platform that J.K. Rowling has. And J.K. Rowling uses it to make life bad for trans people. J.K. Rowling has nothing better to do than make life worse for a group of people who represent about 1% of the population who have never harmed her and she does so by making shit up about them by making up shit that gets those people killed fuck jk rowling 
Fuck Harry Potter. Fuck Albus Dumbledore. Fuck Voldemort. Fuck Ravenclaw. Fuck Gryffindor. Fuck Hagrid. Fuck, what's the fucking Buckbeak? Fuck Cedric Diggory. Fuck all of them. Fuck them all. Fuck Dobby, the little moron elf. Fuck Hermione. She was a shitty character anyway. And guess what? Even though you all had a crush on her, it was just because you were being pandered to. Fuck Ron Weasley. Fuck the entire Ron Weasley family. Fuck Ron Weasley's stupid idiot dad who isn't quirky or fun. Fuck Sirius Black. Fuck all of you. There you go. Fuck them all. Every last one of them, garbage. Hey, guess what, everybody? You sad? Oh, are you sad? Are you going to miss your fantasy? Guess what? Go read Dune. Guess what? Go read Lord of the Rings. You could have 100 times more fun with a universe that's 20 times better. Fuck Harry Potter. Fuck all of J.K. Rowling's garbage. Fuck everything. I hope she loses every single dollar she has and spends the rest of her life having to eat uh, fucking coffee-soaked napkins as she deserves. I hope she joins fucking Margaret Thatcher when her time is right, okay? After, e after a lifetime of having to suck butter out of dirty paper towels. Listen, I hope all, I hope that all of the wizards teleport all of their dumps that they take in their pants through time and space directly into the mind of J.K. Rowling, okay? That's what I'm wishing for here. Okay? I wish that she would fucking polymorph herself into somebody who can shut the fuck up. <laughs> Holy fuck, do I never want to hear from this fucking bitch or any of her stupid shit. Oh, and if you, again, if you think that's rude or sexist or whatever, you can go fuck yourself. You can suck my fucking cock. Oh, and what's next? What are you going to say? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What are you going to do? Are you going to make a 41% meme? Ooh, are you going to say I sound like a man? Guess what? Fuck you. I don't actually care at all. Not even a little bit. I just want you to stop talking. Please, for the love of God. Fucking house elf motherfucking idiots. Jerking yourselves off over a fucking $50 piece of plastic that looks like fucking Dumbledore's wrinkly ball sack. Fucking, oh, Snape. Oh, he's so greasy. I love him. He's such a, oh, all the characters. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and all your stupid shit. Fuck Quidditch. Fuck Birdie Bots flavored beans. Fuck it all. I truly, truly hope. I, I truly, truly hope that, that people, I hope that 10 years from now, when you say Harry Potter, the only reaction is that, that, that emote right there. The fucking cringe right there. I want that emote to be everyone's reaction when you hear the word Harry Potter. Do you guys remember something? Um, do you guys remember, uh, do you guys remember like liking something when you were a kid? And then when you get older, you like really regret ever liking that. Like, I'm trying to think of something like, um, like, what about, like, what about, like, uh, r like, okay, what about really, really bad, like, Flash animations? Mm -hmm. Like, tons of people liked Flash animations that had, like, slurs and, like, homophobic jokes and all this shit. And then you think back on it later, you're like, wow, I was a fucking idiot. I can't even, oof. It wasn't even funny, you know? Yeah, Oni NG is an example. Yeah. Jib jab, yeah. <clears throat> I hope that that Harry Potter is one of those things. Yeah, why am why TMND? I know you guys are there. Listen, it's not just white people either. It's not just the white people either. Listen, I know there's a lot of listen. Let me just say, there's a lot of anti-Semitic creators out there. Not all of them are white. So I don't know about you, but I know I'm gonna make it my personal side quest. To make everyone cringe about Harry Potter every time. So whenever I talk about Harry Potter, I'm going to bring up the obvious anti-Semitism. I'm going to bring up Andrew Goldstein. I'm going to bring up uh, the ge the gender the, the gender choppers that chop you up if you try to go into the girls' uh, dormitory, but you have a, 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 chromosomal, a chromosomal issue. 
I'm going to bring up the doo doo teleporting. I'm going to bring up the rape. I'm going to bring up the bestiality. You know? Thank you, Rowan. Thank you very much. A fascist? Yeah, she is a fascist. She's a fucking... She is a... I, I unironically think that, that uh, J.K. Rowling is the type of person who would become a fascist. So... Um, so there's this really interesting thing, you know, people argued that being a fascist has a lot less to do with, pro with politics and has a lot more to do with, um, personality. I think it's called, what's it called? Um, the authoritarian personality by Adorno, by T.W. Adorno, Brunswick, Levinston, and Stanford. It's a book that was written some time ago. It's very, very highly praised. It's called the authoritarian personality. And it was an argument that said that basically the politics don't matter if someone's personality um, is authoritarian in the way that they approach the world. And I think that's true about uh, about Joanne. I think that's true about our uh, pooping wizard friend here. Um, I think that the way that she views the world is fascistic in nature. She believes it's okay to lie about people as long as she finds them personally disgusting. There is no rational reason for Joanne to be so obsessed with trans people, specifically trans women. There is no reason on, there is no rational reason to be that obsessed. She has no stake in the game. She has just chosen this because they are something that personally disgusts her and she lies in the process of trying to make life worse for those people. I think that's pretty, uh, that's a pretty emblematic type of person who would easily go along with fascism, especially if you use some context clues from the art that she creates, which basically is okay with accepting a, a status quo of slavery and torture so long as it's normalized, so long as it's done through the proper democratic methods, you know. You know, well, like, yeah, the house elves are enslaved, but we voted on it, so it's okay. Imagine spending your entire life living in a castle, and you choose to try and target and make life worse for trans people by constantly, constantly sharing bullshit propaganda about them. Fascists are brutal with people and kind to the institutions? Yes, they are, because the institutions help them maintain their sense of order. You notice that? You notice fascists and liberals too bang on about order, but the order they want is always their order, their version of order. Have you noticed that? Libs do this all the time. Well, we need to have order. Even if you point out the fact that the current order might be very harmful to some people, they go, yeah, but we have to have order. Order is important. This is something I've engaged, I've encountered with directly in many of my own debates with liberals. And you know what? Fascists and liberals get along in that way. They put order above everything else. But the order, conveniently, in their minds, goes to their favor. But see, when fascists get involved, of course the fascists aren't going to let it become a liberal order. They're going to make it a fascist order. The liberals, they just think they're so self-confident in their worldview that they're willing to, to, part, to, uh, uh, to look the other way in the face of, of horrific things as long as it preserves order. Fuck.